Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the Director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Today, most every person you meet has at least one telephone, but that wasn't always the case. As early as the 1830s, Samuel Morse had developed his telegraph, which revolutionized long-distance communication. In 1844, using a code that assigned dots and dashes to each letter of the English alphabet, Morse sent his first telegraph from Baltimore, Maryland to Washington, D.C. No longer was it necessary to wait weeks for a handwritten letter. By 1866, a telegraph line had been laid across the Atlantic Ocean from the United States to Europe. The telegraph laid the groundwork for the communications revolution that would begin in the 1870s. The telephone emerged from successive improvements on the telegraph. While there were several people working on a design for a telephone, Alexander Graham Bell was the first to be awarded a patent for his invention on March 10, 1876. It spread like wildfire across the country. In March of 1877, the LaGrange reporter lamented that telephones had not found their way to LaGrange yet, but by 1881, lines were being built in town at the cost of $40 per half mile. The first users of telephones were post offices, railway stations, and government centers, and here, Wade Milam had a line built between the depot and the telegraph office in July of 1881. At first, telephones were leased in pairs to the subscriber. For example, Dr. Ridley leased a pair of phones to communicate between his office and his home, and the Southern Female College got a telephone between its chapel and boarding house in March of 1882. By the summer of 1885, LaGrange had been connected to Atlanta. In 1884, the number of subscribers was limited to 44 phones, and the cost was $2.50 per month for a home phone and $4 for a business phone. By 1895, Mr. Milam had created the first telephone exchange with a central switchboard. It had 28 subscribers. While small communities would have had a single position switchboard, large towns and even large companies needed their own switchboards, which required an operator to handle incoming and outgoing calls. Because of the cost of paying an operator to attend a switchboard 24 hours a day, improvements were made and phone calls required the dial method to be used for a three-digit or five-digit phone number. By the late 1960s, all Georgia towns had dial service. Communication has come a long way from that first telegraph office. To learn more about how early citizens of LaGrange communicated, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.